And next function is the increment function. The command is i and c. And you can use it by inc to increment 16-bit numbers or 32-bit uh, numbers. And you can also use it with the pulse uh, options. Okay, so pretty much the operands uh, is just the, the destination device. So device the device that you're going to use to, to increment the, the number by, by, by one. So um, something that you uh, need, need to be aware is that whenever you execute, for instance, indeed this example, if you press a X zero, uh, and if you use uh, just the 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 inc um, command alone, uh, the value in this zero is going to to increase for every scan cycle. So if you press your your the the uh, input uh, x zero, if you press it long enough for the long enough for the plc to run go through like let's say the 10 cycles then d0 is going to increase by 10 so so that's why it is if you want to increase the number just by one for every pre, every time that you press a x0 you can use the the p option at the end of the extra ins instruction that way whenever you press the, the button, uh, the function is going to be executed just for one scan cycle of your PLC and the increment is going to be uh, just one. So that's why the, the, the example is being shown with the, the letter P at the end. So let's do uh, one of our examples in ISPSoft. So let's go to ISPSoft. And let's do load um, x20. That's one of our the buttons that I'm using on on my, on my PLC. And then you, let's use just the uh, inc inc instruction alone. And let's assign the, the that we're going to increase the value of this here. So let's say uh, compile it, download it to the our PLC. And first I'm going to uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to use just the uh, the increment function alone. Okay, so let me go online. And I'm going to press uh, and keep pressing the input x20. So I'm going to press it. And see how the much the the number is being increased because there's one one increment for every scan cycle. So remember that the 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 PLC run on, on the milliseconds scale. And since we had our problem is really short, it's being executed like a hundred thousands of of times per per second. So now let's change this function. And we're going to add the the pulse uh, option. So let me double click it, and I'm going to add at the end of the extraction the letter P. So hit OK. New extraction instru function is getting uh, the new extra in instruction is being gener is generated is being generated uh, underneath. So I'm going to delete this one. So I'm going to compile it and load it to our PLC. So there we go. The PLC go, goes to stop. We download the program and then we're going to set the, our PLC back to run. And then we're going to go online. So run right now, this is zero is equals to zero. So whenever I press a X20, the increment is just going to be one. I release X20, I press it again, and it, then it will, be, it will increment uh, another one, same. So if I do it really fast, I'm I'm getting one increment for for every time I press the the press the button. So you need to be aware aware of that. And also, if you want, if you're going to be using and uh, 32 bit the uh, numbers, and then remember to add the P, the the I mean sorry the D at the beginning of the instruction. 
So that that way you can work with 32 32-bit uh, numbers. And remember once again that the 32-bit numbers uses two consecutive uh, registers. If, uh, one register uh, it only holds 16-bit uh, numbers, so in order to uh, to make a 32-bit value, it uses two. So if you assign D0, then it's also going to use D, D1 to store the value. So remember, don't use D1 because it's being used by, by, by this function. Otherwise, you're, you're going to have uh, uh, problems.